The Bay of Bengal. It holds a secret. Every year, the East Coast faces a brutal onslaught of tropical cyclones. Why is it a magnet while the West is safer? To know more, let's get into the science. Let's first understand, what is a cyclone? A cyclone is simply a massive, rotating storm system, born over warm ocean waters. It's an engine, fueled by the ocean's heat and moisture, spinning rapidly around a central low pressure point, bringing destructive winds and flooding. The question arises is, why the East Coast? The primary reason is warmth. The bay is significantly warmer than the Arabian Sea, fueled by massive river influx. Cyclones are born only over waters hotter than 26 degrees Celsius. Second point is wind shear. During the key pre- and post-monsoon seasons, the upper-level tropical easterly jet relaxes, reducing the wind shear. This low wind shear allows storm clouds to organize vertically and consolidate, turning small disturbances into giants. Third, it's geography. The bay is like a perfect funnel, shallow at the coast, trapping and intensifying storms, forcing them straight into Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Fourth, the monsoon's legacy. The cyclones over the Bay of Bengal, peak in October and November, are primarily caused by the conditions associated with the retreating southwest monsoon and the onset of the northeast monsoon. The winds established during northeast monsoon period guide the newly formed cyclones westward or northwestward, pushing them directly towards the eastern and southeastern coasts of India, like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Odisha. That wraps up our look at cyclones in the Bay of Bengal. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next topic we reveal.